All of the functionality of the Blasting Room Signature Series drum instrument is accessible via four interface tabs, Grooves, Kit Select, Mixer, and Key Map. In this video, we will demonstrate the features of the Kit Select tab. In this window, you can audition and choose what drums you wish to use to construct your drum kit. Clicking on the Drum Selector dropdown at the bottom of each kit piece will allow you to select which drum or cymbal you wish to load or unload. To remove a kit piece from memory, select None. The kit piece will be unloaded from RAM and its picture will be grayed out. Clicking on the drum picture will play back the currently loaded kit piece for that drum slot through the Mixer settings on the Mixer tab. In this section, we can adjust kit piece specific parameters. You can select which kit piece you wish to adjust by selecting it using the drop down menu. Alternately, clicking on a kit piece will auto select that kit piece in the parameter pane. Let's take a look at the options available for each kit piece. First up is the pitch control slider. With this slider, the pitch of each kit piece can be adjusted. Command clicking on the individual pitch control will reset that control to the default value. The global pitch reset button will reset the pitch controls of all kit pieces to their default values. Next, we have the kit piece sustain controls. On the drum shells, but not on the cymbals, the sustain of each drum can be controlled by adjusting the sliders for each microphone group. In this way, the close, overhead, room, and bleed microphone sustain can be adjusted separately. The bleed microphone slider will only appear if the full mic bleed option is enabled. Command clicking on the individual sustain control will reset that control to its default value. The Global Sustain Reset button will reset the sustain controls of all kit pieces to their default value. Let's see the sustain controls in action. We've soloed the snare top microphone channel. Listen as we adjust the close sustain of the snare drum. We want to eliminate the ring at the end of the snare hit in the close microphones, but leave the full sustain of the drum in the overheads and room microphones. Using the MIDI dynamic slider, we'll adjust the dynamic range of the MIDI velocity data on a per drum basis. At the 0% slider position, all incoming MIDI will be changed to velocity 127. At the 100% slider position, the full dynamics of the incoming MIDI data will be maintained. The MIDI velocity gain knob will apply gain to the incoming MIDI velocity data on a per drum basis. When used with the velocity dynamics knob, this can allow for extreme flexibility in adjusting the character of a drum performance. Clicking on the MIDI Dynamics Reset button will restore the MIDI dynamics of all kit pieces to their default value of 100%, or full dynamics. Clicking the MIDI Gain Reset button will reset the MIDI gain of all channels to their default value of zero, or no adjustment. The full mic bleed switch toggles full microphone bleed on and off. When recording a live drum kit in the studio, the sound from each kit piece will bleed into all microphones on the drum kit. This microphone bleed is often desirable and can result in a cohesive quality in the drum sound. This feature will be discussed in greater detail in the mixer tutorial. For more information on the Blasting Room Signature Series drums or any of our other products, visit our website at www.roomsound.com.